Every day, we see a homeless person and we just walk by. We label them a statistic. Well, they're not, they're people. And we're about to show you that right now. Are the stereotypes true? I think it's completely false because a lot of the homeless in this area have been turned away from mental institutions or there are people that can't get jobs because of stereotypes people have pushed on them. They're always, they're always cool, they're always friendly. Not too many of them hassle me for money. Uh -huh. You know, judging people right off the bat based on your stereotype of them is just never a good idea. And I think that there's room for improvement. These are normal people who just happen to be in a spot in their life where it's not pleasant and, you know, and calling them crazy or drug addicts, I think that's, that's bad on our part as citizens. I don't believe that there is a difference between you, me, or someone without a house. I believe we're all equal. But you can't really judge anybody. You can't even stereotype anybody too. Actually, you should know people. People don't want to hear what they have to say because they're stereotyping because they're homeless. Just because you have them dirty clothes don't mean you're any better than I am, or any worse than I am. You're still a person. You're still a human being. Well, I'm not a drug addict. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm homeless. Don't assume anything. Don't assume that person that you see that's homeless sitting in that park or standing in line for a meal put themselves there. Okay, don't don't assume that they're that they're or they have an alcohol problem or drinking problem. Go talk to them. Find out for yourself. Find out even the, a kind word sometimes can help. But not every single homeless person is a drug addict. Not every single homeless person is insane or crazy or got, you know, problems. Well, it's uh, not, not too much of trouble for me with illegal substance right now. I'm having more trouble with uh, prescriptions. I'm a veteran in the VA system and uh, I have to work with my doctors and uh, also, I go to AA, and I just put things in my higher power. And uh, if I'm not perfect, or I make a mistake, I don't get down on myself. And uh, I just rise above life by taking it one day at a time and enjoy certain things like skateboarding and being outside and meeting people. Is there help for them? Downtown Street Teams is a nonprofit organization that um, focuses on assisting homeless men and women in, uh, to, for them to regain their dignity through the power of work. So the Appliathon is a twice monthly event Downtown Streets team puts on, uh, once in Palo Alto, once in San Jose, where we recruit volunteers from the community to come and help us fill out applications with our team members. We do online applications, we ask volunteers to bring computers, and it's basically just an all-out effort to apply to as many jobs as possible. You can't do all the good the world needs, but the world needs all the good you can do. We're gonna help the less fortunate find jobs. How has Downtown Street Team helped you out? They've helped me out by giving me housing. I've been housed for the last two, two and a half months. Uh, they helped me look for a job, and they made me feel productive, not only for myself, but helping society too. How I help them out when I see them, it's either by giving them food, if I have anything left over, or either, I guess, like small amounts of cash that you know I have laying around my pockets. That's really it. Is that a solution? More homeless shelters, um, jobs. Too many homeless, not enough shelters. There's many ways to solve a situation or uh, you know, an issue. And then so there's the immediate solution. Like if someone was hungry, you can give them food. But then at the end of the day, I think you have to create programs where it's sustainable and it, it it's an investment, you know. It's not a just a quick fix where, you know, you take care of them for that day. What do the police do? The police are running as ragged here in San Jose, California. They tell us to uh, go hide. That's how you have to be to be homeless. And I'm a human being and I shouldn't have to go hide if I'm homeless. It's really hard to be homeless in, in San Jose. But I have been approached by the police, more like fish and game, and they threw me face down on the ground and said, where's the heroin? And I don't even know what heroin is. I've never done heroin. I've never seen heroin. I've never messed with heroin and they just assumed that I was on heroin and they raided me and threw me on the ground and treated me really bad, handcuffed me, and then they unhandcuffed me and left me with a ticket for littering with a And I never litter, I bring a trash can with me everywhere I go. So I was maimed by the cops for 
you know, no, no reason whatsoever. Almost guaranteed, anytime the cops see you, they're just gonna pull you over just because they have a legal right to. Just to see if you have drugs or anything on you that you shouldn't. Simple as that. What did the homeless have to say? That people really need to help each other. It's a tough time. To, uh, our government's having a hard time with other countries, but Americans are the greatest country in the world. Americans have always led the way, and I'm proud to be an American. That's what I want people to know about me today. I want them to know that not all homeless are bad. They just need a chance to live a, a, a normal life. If they have enough money for the war, whatever type, in the United States, they should have for the homeless. First, I would like people to see how it is to feel to be homeless and try it out and see how it is. And then they'll have a different opinion of a homeless person. Well, if you're young and if you're old and you're not homeless, don't, don't take life for granted because you're only a step away from becoming homeless. You might live with your parents, you might live in a dormitory, you might live in a program, you might live in your own place. But you're only a step away if you make one mistake, one bad decision. Um, you can go off to work the next day and get laid off. You can get fired for any reason. You know what I mean? Um, and that even if you find yourself in a situation like this, don't look at the bad. Try to look at the good. Be grateful for what you do have. And don't take it for granted. Because I'm telling you, it's not easy out here. Don't, don't stereotype the homeless. And don't judge them because you don't know them. And you can you'd be surprised on the people that you meet. They can probably teach you something. Some people just need a few words of encouragement. It's gonna be all right. Hang in there. Things are gonna get better. You know, that's all they need. Don't assume all homeless people are alcoholics and drug addicts. Because I was homeless for two years, almost four years, and I was not an alcoholic or a drug addict. I just couldn't find a full-time job, and then when the jobs I had, I couldn't afford to pay rent. So now you've heard their voice, you've heard what they have to say. Whether this problem goes away or not, just know that every homeless person has a dream, a voice, a story. So when you find yourself in the midst of one, talk to them, because they're a person too. Please help the homeless.